I'm Spencer. And this guy's here. And that's JD. <laughs> and we're here to review Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn. First Dawn. Zero Dawn. For the PS4. Negative one Dawn. It's an exclusive. Oh. Do they still do that where they like whisper it? Exclusive. They actually said that. Exclusive. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn is from Gorilla Games. Those guys made the Killzone series. Yep. I think only. I think they, so. They might have made a couple other ones, but they're known for... They've done Killzone. different ways to do Killzone. Yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> good, decent, shit. shit. It's making a tactics game. <laughs> so I wonder how they're going to handle a different kind of game. This is an action-adventure game and an RPG set in the future. They fuck it up. No, no, <laughs> they did quite, quite well. Prove me wrong, Spence. I will. Okay. Watch me. Yeah. Uh, so again, this is set in the future, a distant, distant future. In the distant where future. humanity has been taken over by robot dinosaurs. Any eight-year-old's wet dream. <laughs> no! No! Dinosaurs! Scarlett Johansson, fuck yeah. out of the way! <laughs> yeah, no, this is much better than Scarlett Johansson, sexually. So, <laughs> these robots are like... You, they're like hunted and they're also villainous it's really weird they're kind of part of the ecosystem that these people live in and they're it's like a native american tribe like a series of native american tribes but they're like white people <laughs> tell me all about it <laughs> <laughs> it's really because they come from america it's all it's all like they, they're not indigenous to one place they're all from like utah <laughs> yeah. So if, if they suddenly became um, Utahians. Utahians. Yeah. Exactly. Utahians. <laughs> but it's it's pretty weird, and it's it's interesting to see all the different types of colors, but put into a Native American setting. So it's like an America. It's a melting pot. <laughs> it's a land of opportunity. Yeah. And so you play. Trump's president, right? <laughs> <laughs> you play a girl named Aloy, who has a mysterious past, and you don't know who her parents are. That's a great way to start an RPG, right? Okay. Pretty typical. No, even better way is to start it out waking up from your bed. Come down for breakfast, cr- <laughs> Ariola! Aloy! Ariola! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So and, and it's your task to become this professional hunter that saves the world as you go on this big quest, meeting all the different tribes and learning about all their problems. Hunter, you say? Mm-hmm. It looks like she's kind of a hunter. What can she do? Well, that's a great question, JD. When you're on your hunting expeditions, you can use stealth. <gasps> Sneaking into bushes that apparently nobody can see into except for a couple of the monsters. Probably big boss. And you can pretty much automatically kill people when you're in it. It's just like a one hit. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You just walk from bush to bush, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. dead. Now you. Now you. You're a little bigger, so I'm not going to do that, but you're dead. Stay in the way. <laughs> so you can use your bow. Okay. That's actually one of the biggest parts is the bow and arrow. It, you can get a couple different kinds of bows. You can get a sniper bow or a short range like regular bow. Or an elbow. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, and then you upgrade your weapons thusly. And then you have a couple other weapons you can use like a tripwire and a, a rope one which I never used. I mean, <laughs> we're in the future. Who's using ropes to tie down these fuck machines? Me. I'm just gonna fucking kill it. <laughs> You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. <laughs> and then you have a spear, which you never really get to upgrade except for one. I guess that's kind of a spoiler, but anyway. You, you rarely get to upgrade it, you don't get to add anything to it. And all the weapons are customizable, so you can add burn damage to them, you can add shock damage, you can add uh, aiming, uh, where you just better aim. Well, yeah. shock would be like stunning, so it stuns them. Yeah. And there's all these different kind of ways to customize yourself. You can also customized through a skill tree. Mm. The skill tree has like hunting skills, gathering skills, right. and melee skills. You can upgrade those, you know, however you want to work your way through it. But in there lies a bit of an issue. Uh, you know me, I like, in my RPGs, I like specialization. And this game, Sorry. if you do a good amount of the side quests, you will pretty much have every single ability. So you'll just be a monster. That's I, more American style. Right, that's yeah. more the American style. We want everything. And I, I would prefer it if you had to pick, like, I want to be a sniper, or I want to be a hunter, or I want to be a... Uh, I want to be the guy. The guy. Mm. I want to be a stealth guy. I wish you could have to pick, but you don't really. It's, it's bouncing around the whole thing. Hmm. So it kind of puts it into a very specific play style of uh, hunting and knowing when to be in stealth mode and when to jump out of stealth mode and fighting them head on. Okay. Um, you also have to fight human beings, which is part of the, the fun of it. 
uh, a lot more than you might think. It's a you're lot dead, of you're dead, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, you're dead, you're dead. It's a lot of killing humans as well. There's a lot of bad people in this game, and it's up to you to determine it. From my point of view, they're all in. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You're like a little Anakin <laughs> with red hair running around. Uh, the story is really good. Now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Mm. The story is good. The plot beats are great. The messages are really cool. The way you learn things is really neat. You'll you walk up to things and hit triangle, and then it plays it for you, so you can just keep walking around. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> but... I will say, is, this kind of ties in the story, the main character sucks. Aloy is annoying. She sounds like she's constant, like it's the worst day of her life. Every day she's been alive <laughs> is the worst day of her life. Yeah. She's like that guy from, the main character from Office Space. It's just, oh, every day, the worst day of his life. God, that's pretty depressing. It, the voice actress is, just sounds miserable. <laughs> it's like if you took a chick to like the store, she's and they're like, they're all out of blueberries. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. We'll have to go to a different store. <laughs> <laughs> you got a different store? Yeah. Like, I don't hear too. <laughs> <laughs> it gets to the point where you kind of want bad things to happen to her because you're just, just like, die. Fuck you. I hope you're dead. Like the next class for some reason. After every cutscene, you couldn't take it. You just jump off the ledge. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Now. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh, I hurt my back on the way down. Like, shut up. <laughs> Oh, fuck you! <laughs> but, uh, you know, every other character is fine, to be honest. But just, she just really sucks. Uh, so the graphics, in case you haven't seen it, the graphics in this game are phenomenal. Probably some of the best I've seen in video games. It has amazing lighting. It has... Play Uncharted. <laughs> I would like to play Uncharted, so it's, it's probably in, the, in that same realm. But all the grass has its own physics. Everything has its own physics. It just, everything sways beautifully. There's... There's a couple moments of slowdown. Do you know the engine of these ones? I don't know the engine. Yeah, Guerrilla Games has its own engine, if I remember correctly. They don't have an engine. I could be wrong, but I think they have their own engine. It was breathtaking. I mean, you've yeah. seen these pictures. It's... Yeah. And Shadow uh, Shadowfall had really good visuals. Mm -hmm. it just had a shit game. Yeah. They took those great visuals <laughs> and made a good game. Yeah, I do, guys. Uh, <laughs> gorgeous to see. The, the monsters look amazing. Yeah. They all have their own little problems that you can attack so like like they might have <laughs> they might have a little camp, we've all got our own problems they all have their own attack. issues some of them have self-esteem others are actual physical but they have little things you can blow up like attack them with fire and they'll like light up on fire and their whole body will like shock oh, yeah. really great effects like the characters look real my girlfriend was watching and she said this practically look real this is crazy how video games have come <laughs> You're like, yeah there, i know right she's playing her super nintendo <laughs> uh so that that was really crazy the sound is phenomenal if you hear the the explosions or the every monster has its own like you know like how robots sound no no oh, that's the sound of hydraulic you mean like general grievous yeah yeah they all sound like general grievous <laughs> <laughs> yeah why does he have a fucking Sebulba! Right. <laughs> it's guy. me Sebulba! <laughs> i don't know what to buy oh, anyway. and the voice acting again is really good except for the main character so the pros of the game are this game is a really good RPG, great action. This yeah. game takes the best things from The Witcher 3 and Tomb Raider oh. and then puts robotic dinosaurs in it. Oh. The combat is better than both. So Would you say the voice actor is a mesh between the two? The voice actor is dialogue with a really I like Geralt. But yeah. <laughs> let's be honest. He's, I love Geralt. <laughs> I love him. Everything about him is great. He's awesome. He's much cool. If they put Geralt into this game, it would be amazing. 10 out of 10. It'd be the, it would be officially the perfect game. 10 out of 10. But unfortunately, we get this bitch. We must have flaws like the enemies we fight. That's true. Damn. Hers is she's annoying as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other pros of the game is gorgeous. The game is gorgeous. beautiful to look at. Sounds great. Plays great, not a whole lot of problems. The only con to this game is she is fucking annoying. Mm. Stick with this game to the end, it has a really great ending. Um, there's parts of it where I kind of forgot that they cared about certain things, but in general, the, the end is great. And there's a lot of good twists in it, so. Yeah. Uh, for 60 bucks, totally recommend this game. This game could take you two hours, 40 to 50 hours to get a lot out of it, to get most of what you want out of it. Uh, I didn't take that long. No shit. <laughs> I, 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 go, I just barreled. I'm Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. But if you were so inclined, you'd get a lot of play out of this. There's tons of side quests, tons of different things you can do. Fun stuff. 60 bucks. Definitely worth it. Ooh. I'm Spencer. I'm JD. Thanks for watching.